Okay, now I'm hoping it's recording. All right, I've got my puppy drawn. I've decided I don't wanna include the body, so I've kind of shortened my body up here and I've picked some colors that I feel are close to what is here. I have a tendency to use purple for grays. I'm gonna go really fast with this because I want you guys to be able to get started. The cool thing about oil pastels is you can blend with them. So I'm starting with some of my lighter spots that I see on here. Um, and then I'm gonna go back and put some color into those light spots. So I've got those and I'm gonna go back with some of this peachy color. Although I don't know, there's a different brown I had. Where did that one go? I don't see it in there. I think it's more like this one. Oh, that's too red like that either. Okay, well, I want to keep going because I want to get you guys going here. Maybe it's this. It's a little closer. Okay, because he's got kind of this fuzzy peachy color. And it comes down there. So what, what the goal is here is that you're going to be blending your colors together as best you can. So you get them mixed up push hard. You see how I've got the paper down here so that it's going to color onto that instead of the ground. I need, I'm recording right now. <laughs> and this comes around and I'm going to blend in. Let's see. Got this cute little apron of fur down here, but it's a little bit in the shade, so I'm going to add a little bit of purple. See how that's blending together? And then I can put this color back into it. Um, let's see. I also want to get some of this color in here. So wherever it's black, I want to just leave it black. Let's see. There's this lovely thing. There's a little bit going around this eyeball and a little under here and probably some on the ears too let's see I'll use some blue for the nose but I want just a little of this to go in here um, I thought I had a gray <sighs> uh, you should be able to find most colors that you need because there's patches of crumb crumbs everywhere here is a gray, so I'm gonna mix my gray into my purple. So it's just taking it and really pushing it in there to blend and you get a whole new color. And with my pug, I have these lovely little wrinkly bits. That's the best part of a pug, right? The wrinkly bits. And up here, I want a little bit more gray. Put a little bit more there. So I am gonna actually be able to leave a lot of my black showing because this is black face pug and I'm nowhere near done I'm trying to just get this done quickly so I can have a video for you that will be short enough that you'll actually watch it what I also want to show you is how to do the eyes um, this is a great blue that I know I don't have a lot of but I like that for the shine in my eye I'll also put a little bit of it on my nose a shiny bit on my nose, maybe a little bit on my lip. Because then I've got this darker blue that I'll use for some of the wrinkles here on my pug's face. And this needs to come up here. And there's more blue on my ear. Um, the other thing, too, <coughs> is if you're working on this part for a while and you get frustrated because you're like, ah, oh, it's not looking like I want it to look, please move to the background. Don't just get frustrated and keep nailing away because that's not gonna help anybody. Um, I'm gonna grab some white and do my little bits of white. So you're gonna want one of these bins of color at your table as well as your own little container. For my background, what color do I want to use? Maybe I'll use this green. So for the background, when I put this background color on, it's going to shape my pug. So you'll be able to see my pug better. 
and I want to go kind of hard with it. And I can also blend other colors in. And you notice how I'm moving this black paper back here to catch the edge of it. But the cool thing about putting the color on the background is that you can see your picture better once you get the color in there. Okay, so I'm going to kind of stop there because I think this video is five minutes long and I don't know that you're going to watch this long. So you'll keep going. This is basically it. You can also use your finger to do some blending. See, here's another version that I did of the plug on this side. Do your best. I will be back and I can help you then. And take a look at these videos as often as you need.